Once upon a time, there were three little girls who went to the police academy. Charlie's Angels was a very popular television show in the late 70s. Farrah Fawcett was the most identifiable of the show's stars. Farrah Fawcett is perhaps best known for the iconic poster that she did in the 1970s. There was a Serapi blanket behind her. Her blonde locks were feathered to the gods. The hair was the first thing that entered the room. It was like whew, hair that did this just without any help. She chose to wear her red Norma Kamali bathing suit. Farrah was a great customer. I did a test of these red swimsuits, and I only made, I think, six of them. And I said, we've got to change the fit. I hate this. And then I see this poster, and that was the suit she wore. And that was on the wall of every little straight boy that I knew when I was an adolescent in the 1970s. I even had the Farrah Fawcett poster. The poster was an unprecedented success. Six million posters were sold. Lucky for me, it's in the Smithsonian now, if you can imagine. I think one of the reasons that it resonated so much is that she really embodied a look of what the ideal American girl was in the 1970s. Outdoors, athletic, healthy. But there's kind of a sexual ferocity that's also mixed in there. And even to this day, if I do photo shoots, if they're trying to give a period look, they say Farrah Fawcett. Everyone talks about Farrah Fawcett in the red bathing suit. And what I think that shows everyone is just the way that an item of clothing can become a symbol of a moment, a kind of totem of a time in our culture. When it comes down to American style, you cannot leave out Farrah Fawcett. 